Well, look at this. What a stunning place. To think that in less than two hours, the runners will be coming through here along this coastal path. Not a soul in sight. A beautiful part of the UK. What a place to do a hundred. And the Cotswold Trail runner, Francois Lowe, will hopefully be steaming through here on absolute fire. But it's a long way from here. This is only 10 miles in. When he gets to this point, he'll probably be still feeling pretty fresh. And the sun is out. It's glorious. How could you not enjoy this? The real challenge will start when night sets in. And that is what the arc is all about. Uh, done the registration at uh, the eco park and uh, it was just getting really busy managed to see a couple of uh, local runners and some uh, people that sub subscribed came and uh, said hello which was really nice so thank you for that uh, just in the hotel now um, and trying to pack everything together I'm gonna get it all in the pack uh, and make sure it all fits and sits nicely and then go and get some food So this will be the first place that I'm going to meet France, which is about 10 and a half, 11 miles after the start. Um, 
electrolytes, water. In here we've just got uh, ginger, electrolyte tablets, spare batteries, head torch, some sports drinks, some nutrition drinks, um, a few goos. Trying to like these ones. Dates and sesame packs, bars, bananas, crisps and nuts. Then we've got his spare shoes, towel, change of clothing, which we won't need until we get to the night time. And then some cold stuff as well. So we've got apple juice, we've got orange juice, um, some yogurts, various other bits and pieces. Um, so that is what we're gonna be giving him when he comes through. So hopefully, if he's on for 24 hours, it'll be sometime around 2 p.m. So. Let's check back in then and see how he's getting on. Thank you. How you feeling? Alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good pace. What food do you want? Do you want more electrolytes? Hey, thanks James. See you, bro. <laughs> okay, just gone past through Lizard Point. Saw my brother there and uh, swapped over my bottles. We're 11 miles in. Average pace is 11 minutes seven. It's taken me two hours to get to that point. And uh, yeah, the start was as tough as I'd been warned so started out the gate pretty quick and then pulled it back a little bit around that first 11 miles with Sabrina Vergi which was nice her pit stop was a lot more Formula One efficient than mine so now just settle in for the next 15 miles to uh, checkpoint one Port Leithen Okay, so Francois has just come through the Lizard Point uh, checkpoint at 13.58, which means he is on for a 25 hour finish at the moment. Looked fresh, looked like he just wanted to crack on, still got 
quite a few hours of daylight left, so let's see how he gets on. Very lucky with the weather today. As you've seen at the start, it was pretty muddy, has been in places, but feet dried out already. We'll press on while we can. Okay, just coming into Poldu Cove, 19 miles in, 3 hours 30. Average pace is 11 minutes 2. Next checkpoint is in 10 kilometers, 6, six miles. Whew. Okay, just coming into Lou Bar. It's about a quarter of a mile away. 22 miles in now. Four hours five. Average pace is 11.01. Joints are starting to uh, ache a bit, but staying positive. Long way to go. Get on with it. Enjoy this sunset that we're gonna have. Well, this is fun. So this is Porth Levin, which is checkpoint one, but this is the first major checkpoint, so hopefully we'll get some hot food in. Weather is still just perfect, as you can see. And he will be running in along this road and out of town towards the football club. How are you feeling? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just left uh, checkpoint one, Port Leith, and did spend a bit of time there. 25 and a half miles in, four hours 45. Just dropped my bag off with James and then crack on into the night. Um, did manage some soup and a roll and some food, so that's good. But now I'm going to uh, crack on. Go on, Vazar. Thanks, James. Yeah. Thanks, James. See you, bro. And there he goes. Won't be seeing that for another 13, 14 hours. And it's gone. Now it's time to get serious. Let's go. There 
and this is crew life. Got the boil on. A sweet chili noodles coming up. Bed's ready for later. Just waiting for runners to come down the road. Oh, here comes one now. Good effort, keep going. There he is. Razzie. <laughs> Razzie. Uh, <laughs> so why don't you sit down for a bit? Uh, How are you feeling? Alright. Alright, good. Yeah, I'm alright. How's it going here? Yeah. <laughs> alright, good, good. Yeah, looking right. fresh. Looking fresh. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> All right, I'll do. You're nearly halfway, right? All right. I'll Got see. it. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks, Go, boy. Because <laughs> I make a YouTube video. <laughs> see. <ya. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amazing, amazing! <laughs> okay, so I have just seen Francois at checkpoint 2 Penzance, which is 40 miles, and he seemed in good spirits. He went in, he had some hot food, and he's been on his way. He was less than 10 minutes, so he's doing really well. Um, next place I'm going to see him is Le Morna, which is uh, at 45 miles. Um, it's 8.15 p.m. Um, and as I say, he's just left Penzance, so doing really well. Okay, that's Penzance behind me there. I managed to eat again some soup, some pizza, some melon, uh, some other bits. Changed my clothes, so I'm a bit warm. It's a beautiful night, no wind, but it's uh, chilly. And now I'm pressing on to uh, Land's End. I uh, pulled the camera out and it was hard and uh, yeah it's tough just climbing out of a cove from sea level monster climb feeling it now 48 miles in 50 miles in now 10 hours 27 minutes average pace is 12 minutes 34 I'm feeling it now. Six miles to land's end. I think I'm gonna change socks and shoes, sort my feet out. Here he is. Francois. How are you doing? I can't come in, but I'll just hang around till you're done. Just take your time. Yeah, I'm gonna try and eat. <laughs> Why did you do it? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> oh crap. Oh. <laughs> Head torch. Right, where am I seeing you? Uh, uh, Cornwall. Six miles. Okay, I'll be a while. All right, thanks, James. All right, dig in. <laughs> so, update. Uh, Land's End checkpoint. Spent a bit of time there. Tried to eat some food. Got sick. Fail. Now we're uh, 60 miles in with uh, 13 and a half hours on the clock and uh, 13.42 average pace. I think realistically, sub 24 is out of the question. So I need to just conserve energy, what's left of it, and get back in one piece for the gold buckle. 
Next up is Cape Cornwall, where hopefully I can down a load of orange juice because that's what I really fancy. Makes sense. 67 miles in now, just coming up to Pendine Lighthouse. And it's uh, 15, 15 hours 48 into the race. Average pace is 14.06. The joys of being crew. <laughs> I'm trying to stay warm. It's currently 3.36 in the morning. Uh, I've just parked up at Zena, um, having left Francois at Cape Cornwall. But he's he's doing well. He only stopped really quickly at the last checkpoint, um, refueled a little bit, and then was on his way. He seemed like he was in good spirits, looked strong. So we'll see how he is. I think this ne next section from Cape Cornwall to Zen is pretty tough. Um, so we'll see how he is. Um, so yeah, let's check in then. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna walk. I might take my poles. Yeah. But. He's nearly broken the back of it now. Basically two, two miles an hour. <laughs> Savage terrain. This is hard. I just saw Francois at checkpoint Zena um, at about 6.30 this morning. It's now seven o'clock. And yeah, it's the first time he's looked like he's really feeling it. Um, he said it's been exceptionally tough from Cape Cornwall uh, through Pendine to Zena has been savage. Um, he's got well, another six miles to get to St. Ives, which is checkpoint four. Uh, which is again really bad terrain so he was in a bit of a dark place I gave him what I could uh, he took on some orange juice uh, nutrition drink not eating he can't keep anything down at the moment so hoping by the time he gets to the checkpoint he can eat again um, so I'm gonna head over there hoping he'll get there around half eight this morning maybe nine o'clock but we'll let you know 13 miles to St. Ives, apparently. Well, good morning. The sun has just come up and I made it through the night. It was a long one and uh, I was delirious, almost fell asleep running, uh, stopped eating, uh, I was delirious, but I made it through. We are now 78 miles into the Ark of Attrition. And I'm still getting wet and muddy feet. 78 miles into the Ark of Attrition, 19 hours 56 on the clock, and average pace is 15.20. So just coming up to 8 a.m. And I am two and a half miles from St. Ives. Um, there have been some really brutal sections throughout the night, and uh, yeah, it's really tested me. I'm settling for finishing this race. Um, any time goals I did have went out the window, but just under 25 miles to go. Good few more hours, and then hopefully I'll have that gold buckle. I'm sure I'll stop complaining over the next few days when it all sinks in. Now I'm going to press on and get to some ice. Finally coming into St. Ives, the final checkpoint. Here he is, checkpoint four, Cotswold Trail Runner. A man alone, walking all the way up. I can't believe he survived the night. Well done, bro. Oh, Proud of you. I got a second wind after I left you. That was mega. I teamed up with these two guys and 
we just went for it. I'm glad I got here before night. Yeah, you made really good time. I was thinking like maybe it'd be after nine o'clock. So right. yeah, get what you need. See you in a bit. I don't know, I was gonna go with someone but they've all left so <laughs> I'm just gonna have to find my own way to no, no, I'll, I'll I'll show you the way. Oh, okay. at least to the harbour front. I am just waiting for Francis to arrive at Hale. Uh, I saw him at St Ives and he was like a new man. I don't know what happened um, between Zena and St Ives, but he had a massive second win. So as far as I'm concerned, he is going to smash this. So just waiting for him to arrive. Oh, no, Sight. A specimen <laughs> marching in. How are you feeling? <laughs> Have you had any of those big hills yet? No. That was all basically fandom. Oh, sis. Uh. Not far to go now. Do you feel like it's in the bag now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little update for you. Just see my brother at uh, Godrivi. 91 and a half miles in. 23 and a half hours on the clock. Average pace 15.24. Oh, after St Ives, I've got a second wind again now. Managed to eat and overcome last night's fueling disaster. So, well, fingers crossed. Got 11 miles left. Uh, I'm gonna finish strong, so that's good. So let's just get these bitches out of the way, as they're called, and uh, get moving. Let's go. comes into the last checkpoint before the finish. <laughs> Made some good time there. <laughs> You're not going to take anything? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. You feeling alright? It's only about, I think, four miles? Three and a half? Yeah. I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> yeah, go bro. The final climb. They really know how to finish you off. Just gotta get up there, and then we're done. There we go, the end of the arc, 2024. Come and give it a go. Fantastic effort. What a finish! What well, I mean. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> tired. <laughs> feel tired now. <laughs> well done. Some some races don't need to be repeated. Do they? <laughs> That's a very happy face. <laughs> happy? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> Nailed that.
That was tough. Those eyes tell a story. <laughs> oh, that, that's um, 28 hours of contact lenses. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really hit this is a <laughs> Running You're not really hit this is hallucination, yeah, you haven't not, finished yet. Really Keep tight. running Francois. Oh, yeah, that was hard. You, you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, I didn't in the night because I stopped eating at that then. Right. And then when I did uh, Zenor, I forced something in it stayed in. And then um, I got a second wind after that. So then I felt quite strong. It's a long old evening, isn't it? Oh, I mean, <laughs> we were saying if we were to go for a winter training run, you'd choose a night like that, wouldn't you? Again. No matter what the weather, though, it's, it's never easy. So, no, it's not. It's, it's not easy. You know, it's just unrelenting. Yes. No, that's right.